Hello everyone, my name is Dylan 123 or I guess my real name is Dylan, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a cannon. This requires redstone and TNT, and of course, other bricks. This is a demonstration, and I'll be showing you how to make it after the demonstration, so let's get started. Okay, so that was the close range. I I didn't fill it up entirely. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, okay. Sorry. I forgot it was on. <laughs> um, so anyway. I put a TNT block here instead of here, 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 here. I put it here, 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 and here. That's close range. And and I will demonstrate it at long range. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Let's try, let's try one more time. That should work next time. Oh my god! Why not? Okay, this is a close range cannon. Um, the longer you make it, I guess the longer you can, the, the more range you have. So, um, let's get started, alright. Alright, so, to make a cannon, you need 17 blocks of any type. I'm using stone, you don't have to use stone, as I previously said. You need, um, one slab, like a wooden slab, brick slab, uh, I'm, I'm using a stove slab once again, you don't have to use that. A water bucket, 17 redstone, 17 red, redstone wiring or dust, um, 5 red, redstone repeaters, 5 or 4 TNT, like, TNT things, and a lever, or a lever, however you want to say it. So let's get started. Okay, so you want to place a block anywhere. This will be the front of your cannon where it will shoot out. So if you're, if you're in a ship or something, don't don't build it inside your ship because then it will destroy your ship. So you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright. And now... Um, 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 we we put a block right next to it, right next to that, and the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right there we go. Now we come over here. We put a block on top of that, and next, and in front of that block, we put another block. Now we put a wooden, I mean, a slab there, whatever slab you got, and then we put water there. The water is to prevent the TNT from destroying everything around it. Cause if there what um TNT doesn't destroy things underwater, doesn't really affect things. So yeah. Um now for the redstone. Now you put you start here. Not there. Not here. There. Cause if you were to start it there the circuit would be screwed up and you I don't know what you would have to fix it I don't know how you'd fix it if you put it there um it would connect to the to the um the TNT that would be shot out and it would kind of it, it wouldn't work it wouldn't shoot it out so we're starting from here and then just do what I do alright we put it up over here. If you put it around this way, you might run out of redstone unless you have more. And you need that way actually to to connect the circuit, so don't do that. Alright. Um we're gonna stop right here. Continue here. One, two. Then you put your five redstone repeaters over here. One, two, three, four, five. Now you put them all on the last delay, which is three clicks. So one, two, three. 
one, two, three, and one, two, three. Here we go. So you put your lever here, then you connect it. You connect all the circuits to that lever. You just load it up, and you should be done. Now, when I fill it up completely, sometimes it doesn't work, so I don't fill up that right there. I just fill up the rest. So, and then it sh and then it works for me. But it's close range. Like, there we go. Boom. Boom. Let's go see how much damage it did. All right, that's that could kill somebody. Um, I may make a tutorial, a tutorial how to make a long range. I'm pretty sure that you just need to make it longer, make make this longer, get the get more repeaters, get more redstone and stuff. Then you fix it up. Then you have a longer long range run. I think that that's the case. If not, then just move it up close to where you want it. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, su subscribe, rate, comment, well, as they say now, thumbs up, I guess. Um, if I did good, because this is my first tutorial, this is my first video for this, uh, this channel. And I want to know if I did good or not, so I need feedback. So just tell me if I did good or not. Um, and I'll make another t tutorial soon, alright? I'll see you later. Goodbye.